We're here at Knapp Hill for a total new era at Farnham Town. Um, new management, which uh, has been a theme at Farnham Town, which I'm sure people watching will, will know uh, over the course of the last few years. But we feel like we've got the man that we really want to uh, take us forward. Um, today is Paul Johnson's first game in charge here against Knapp Hill, um, which is looking brilliant actually. Probably the best ground uh, I've been to since uh, we've been following Farnham round. Just really excited to see different style of football. There's definitely a, a way that they're looking to implement. Um, they were the like, standout candidates when we were going through the, the interview process. Um, not only because they've been there, done it, but also because we really enjoyed talking to them. They were fun and they you know, gave us a smile back on our face, um, which is so important at Step 5. So we literally came in Wednesday night. So you know, we're Saturday and, and there's still probably a lot of work to be done from their perspective. So let's see what happens today. And then we've got a cup game on Tuesday against Ashford. Um, so yeah, still time to build, but excited to see what happens on the pitch today. I'm Jono, um, I've come from Bedfront Sports. I just recently resigned there and uh, yeah, find myself now out at Farnham. After resigning at Bedfront, and I thought I was going to take a little bit of time out, but after speaking with Paul and then, then meeting Paul and Hugo and a couple of others, um, their plan and vision for the club and, and the journey they want to go on um, just felt right straight away. The buzz was back um, straight away. I think today, especially for the players, it, it's, um, it's, a, it's a free year, it's for them to go out there and just enjoy themselves, get a smile back on their face, especially after the last um, 10 days, two weeks, or whatever it's been since Sean's gone. Um, it's a time for them just to, to get back to you know, enjoying their football. They've had two weeks without a manager, not knowing what's going on. So hopefully we bring a bit of stability to that and uh, get playing. Coming in at this stage of where we're at, you know, we want to win, we want to win every game. <laughs> <laughs> Is he any good? Yeah, he's alright, isn't he? Right, yeah. hey, not bad for a first one, eh? <laughs> Goals are to get settled down, um, try and start off by winning, uh, get a winning mentality. Obviously, looking at the table, we want to go as high as we can in that table, and the goal is to finish as high as we can. I'm Jimmy Hibbert, I'm the assistant manager, sort of stroke coach. Um, I've been working alongside Jono for the last sort of eight years. We're good friends, sort of on and off the pitch, so it's, um, yeah, that'd be my role to sort of. Uh, assist him uh, in the way I've been over the last sort of eight, nine years. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Yep, name's Mike Kinsella. Again, been with Jono and Jim for many years now, and uh, I'm coming in as a player coach, just recovering from knee surgery, which I had about four months ago. So I get myself back fit, but in the meantime, I'll be doing some coaching as well, and uh, hopefully helping the management team to get final up the table. It's a blank canvas at the minute, it's all happened quite quick. I mean, we uh, we obviously agreed with the football club, uh, myself and Jono on the Wednesday, uh, heard we were sort of in, taking the training on the, on the Thursday, uh, so we got to meet the boys on, on the Thursday. But it's, uh, you could just sort of tell with, with the boys, sort of morale was a little bit low at the minute. In terms of the club, we were fortunate enough to see the youth team uh, uh, through to the development squad, which is all in place. It's just, uh, it's just getting the grips with the, with the, the first team issue now. It's uh, getting the boys' belief and that confidence back. And uh, yeah, from our point of view, we, we look to we will look to bring people in. But it'd be unfair to see. We need to see what we've got here first to then to, to then to then move on. The past is the past. Not interested in that now. So they need to sort of understand what we want moving forward and take that on board. That this is what we're all here for to enjoy football. It's a part of it. So it's uh, yeah, it's important that they first of all they enjoy it. We need to start building relationships with the players, and um, yeah, and, uh, and and move from there. For step five, everything's here to be really successful. Um, the fact farmers in a town, once momentum starts rolling, we're, and we get uh, wins on the boards, the support will continue to grow. Um, and as Jim said, 18s, 23s, all the way up to the first team. Everything is here to be successful, and it's about um, make sure that happens out on the pitch now. I've I've watched bits and highlights etc etc we've obviously with data and bits that we've been sent across we've we've, we've had a, a nose in that 
but it's, I think it's quite refreshing to see it firsthand of, from, from now and forget about what, what's happened and what's gone on with past managers and ideas and et cetera, et cetera. So we're here now, we're starting planning what we want and, uh, and, and make sure that the boys or whoever comes in sort of buy into that and, and, and that's, that's it, enjoy all sort of that journey together. That's the, that's the main thing. It's definitely one of the nicer grounds. Great pitch, probably the best pitch we've seen all season to be honest. Nice little stands, which which you'll see across the game. Proper goals, decent clubhouse. Like they've they've spent money in the right way uh, over here at Nap Hill. Very impressed. I know there's going to be a totally different style of, of football today. Wing backs going to be employed, which is exciting to to see. Very different to what we've seen on the pitch for far in the season. Um, and I just hope the boys go out there and enjoy the football really, play with a bit of a smile on their face, try and impress the, the manager. Obviously everyone's playing for, for their shirt at the moment under a new under a new gaffer. There's good spirit amongst uh, amongst people you know behind the scenes and also um, in the playing stuff. Positive mate. I think we have to mm -hmm. we have to feel positive. <laughs> new faces coming in, new management team so yeah. Just got to kind of forget what's happened, put it behind us and move forward from now. So don't know who's coming and going. Don't really know what the plans are and but but yeah, so oh, yeah, starting to get a clearer picture now of what, what they're looking for, what they're looking to do, how we're looking to play. So yeah, just got to kind of push on. Yeah, a different style, new formation. Yeah, just got to get the boys playing with a smile again. So it's mm. the most important thing. Yeah. yeah, so there's no bench basically. Talk me through the bench. Lloyd, they're in spirit. Max Wheaton, they're in spirit. <laughs> no, Max is fit. Mm. Surely not. <laughs> I know, it's a shot. <laughs> Okay, so we've got three injured players on the bench, Connor and a goalie. Who is Connor injured? injured? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so three total injured players. Okay, good. Good to change the game. <laughs> Wait, good, yeah. Wait, time's come now, yeah. Buzzing for it. Yeah, I think we all just need kickoff. Yeah, get first touch on it. Make sure your first touch is a good one. Keep it nice and simple. Like we said and talked before, right? No risk. Yeah, no risk. You're unsure, you put it in. We compete, we play second ball, and we play in the final third, yeah? Play in the final third around the halfway line. You're gonna have to shift across the pitch, right? It is what it is, yeah? Everything that goes on, you're a target, right? You're a target. Now, make them a target, yeah? You're here to win games of football. You wanna win, get that in your head, yeah? That's what we're gonna be about. From the word go, we play on the front foot, yeah? We get the ball in there, we put them on it. It's a free hit, yeah, it's a free hit. But Go and enjoy yourselves and work your bollocks off. The more you work the bollocks off and you come in, yeah, the more results you get. That's simple, yeah, that doesn't change. Let's go, as a team, all together. <laughs> Reaction, reactions, yeah, anticipation, yeah, react, reaction, something that happens, yeah, then you react, anticipate something when you can see it and you're already there, yeah, start anticipating things, yeah, especially around the box, Se second ball's around the box, it falls, we wait, and then we react, and then something happens. So relax, relax, the game's started now, yeah, everything's done, everything's gone, relax and enjoy the ball, be better on the ball, but you have to give more options on the ball, we win it, it's sort of again, it stands still. Yeah, want the ball, want the ball, yeah? Get on the ball, go and enjoy it. Because they're not really creating anything. I think two chances from long range is all they've done. They've not opened you up, they've not cut you apart, they've not made you look silly or anything, have they? No, so you're comfortable, you're comfortable. Just have to be better on the ball. And can we get up the pitch a little bit better? Yeah? Better on the ball? Good. Yeah. Barring that, good, yeah? On it? Yeah, yeah good. Body language. Come on, wait, nil nil, you're in the Okay, massively. Yeah, good.
uh, obviously not the way you want to end a match. Um, a, a fan, uh, actually a fan from, from the Farnham side, uh, has been taken ill and collapsed on the side of the pitch and has been tended to by paramedics. He's up and he's conscious um, when, I'm, when I'm talking now. Um, and the match has been abandoned after what, it, what we think is about 75, 76 minutes. Um, we're not sure what the, what the result will be, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and uh, obviously you, you don't want to come on a Saturday afternoon to a, to a game and um, you know have this. So obviously incredibly upsetting and ending this game on a sombre note, a game that was really hotly con uh, contested. Wishing Mick a, a speedy recovery, um, hopefully everything okay and uh, yeah, we can move, move forward. But you know, obviously a very sombre note for a Saturday afternoon. Bit of a different one tonight. Um, John, first of all, John. I'd like to say thank you to everybody at Nap Hill um, who helped um, Mick uh, at the at the game. Obviously, that's that's the last thing you're gonna see with that game being called off. Mick is absolutely fine. Um, uh, thanks to the help of the, the physios from both sides, uh, a nurse was in the crowd, everybody had help from the Nap Hill side, um, which, which is fantastic and, and a huge amount of thanks goes out to those guys. We're at a different ground today, we're at Badshot Lee's home ground, just down the road from us, our local rival I suppose. And we're here because we were meant to have a game away at Ashford Town, um, up by Heathrow, but it got postponed because of a waterlogged pitch, which loads and loads of different games have had over the course of the last um, 12 hours or so with a huge amount of downpour. This pitch looks fantastic, they've done a great job, and they've got this game on, and it's Badshot Lee versus Walton and Hersham. Uh, for something a bit different. I think our manager... Here he, here he is, I, just, I was just uh, talking right. about you. How are you doing? Jono's here as well, coming to watch. Because yeah, again, there's not a lot of games on today. Um, so yeah, speak to him and just see what's going on. But nice, nice to watch some football on Tuesday night. It was interesting. It was interesting. It was first time to see the boys, obviously in a game situation from training. Um, and I thought, before after Thursday, what we're trying to do, we're changing, it, we're changing everything, style. I think you know they took it on board really well. I think with the ball um, needs to be a lot better. But I think off the ball, um, they did, they implemented it pretty well. So yeah, positive, positive start on that. Um, I think, I think it's, a good, it's a good chance tonight to come and have a look at um, Bagshot being top of the league and to see what sort of standard. Um, and what's going to be needed to compete at the top. I know they've made a few changes tonight, but um, yeah, it's just it's a good chance to have a little look. You know, I'm sure they've played the same way as what they would do if it's a league game. Impressive display, to be honest, from Walton Hersham. Showed their step above um, quality-wise in front of goal. Um, quite an entertaining game. The pitch took a bit of a battering. There was a downpour during the game, um, and the pitch certainly doesn't look as good now as it did when we arrived, but that's that's you know, winter football. But yeah, we really enjoyed our time here, but a bit of a filler. Shame not to play Ashford tonight. Um, good to spend some time with the new manager and uh, we'll see you next week for Bouncer at home and then probably a bit of training actually uh, for Jono and the team to settle in with the squad. But yeah, see you next week.